Hi, this is Karen. Welcome to KBB Oboe Mentor. I've really been enjoying some of the read toolbox and tool case opening kind of style videos and I thought it'd be super fun to make one, especially because I just got this new tool case and I am in love with it. So without further ado, here is my tool case. This is what I take with me when I'm either practicing or at rehearsals or performances and everything I need on the go fits into this really cool case. And here's what I love about it. It opens up, folds down and stands flat. And I will put a link in the description to where you can get one of these. So I think this is just fabulous for going out and working because it always used to bug me to have my tools by my seat and just not be able to reach them easily. And now I can hit get all my knives and tools, everything. This particular pattern is extra fun because it's actually read tools, which just cracks me up. So I like that it's dark, so it won't really pop on the stage floor. And also that it's got the read tools, so it's kind of got a bit of humor to it. It has this top section, which unzips and I keep a bunch of things. So it's got little pockets and I have I always keep some razor blades with me. I am very meticulous about once I open a razor blade, I will then rewrap it into its packaging when I'm done with it and I put it back in a different area because I just don't ever want to risk cutting myself. So that's a little safety trip is, you know, keep your opened razor blades separate. I also have with me always a few post-it notes this is some whiteout. I only try to use this whiteout stick on my personal music, not on any rental or anything an orchestra sends me, but it's nice to have if I'm in a rehearsal with some of my own music and I need to quickly make an adjustment. Sometimes there's wrong notes and things or whatever it might be. And then coming around to the front, we have all my stuff. There's this neat little, I bopped it so they fell off, but um, a magnet that holds some plaques for me, which is fabulous. And then the top row, we have the tools I use the most. So I always have three knives with me. I have my bark knife, which is kind of not my sharpest knife. And I've had this one forever. I wish I could tell you where I got it because it's got this cool handle, but I don't remember. Um, and I don't think they're making them anymore. And then I generally use Rigotti style double hollow ground knives. So here are my two knives. This one is my intermediate knife. I do most of my scraping with this one. And this is one is what I call my finishing knife. Um, and I use this the least, but it also tends to maintain the sharpness the most. So those are my knives that I like. I always have a pencil, if not multiple pencils. This is a really fun little tool that Jenda makes and it's to check your, I'm left-handed, so it checks the sharpness of your knife. If your knife goes skidding down the side, then you know it's not very sharp, but it's a nice little kind of sharpness tensor. It's fun to use. I also always have a tuning fork with me. I'm a little old school. Um, I have found when I'm tuning orchestras that sometimes in the cacophony, you can lose your inner sense of the A. So I like to have this so I can really keep myself locked down to A440 um, as needed right before I give the A. I can hear it. I can get, and I can also get A441 off this at this point. I'm just, you know, used to the difference going a little sharper depending on the orchestra but for most orchestras 440 and this just helps me clear out the noise that's happening around me now over on this side i always have a little screwdriver with me i play howarth so this is a nice little howarth screwdriver you know just have it to avert disaster i like to use emery boards to finish my reads these ones are super fun because they say oboe and they're from forest's music out in california i love these and i also in that pocket have my little ruler then next i have some sharpening things well first i've got this i do tend to keep a spring hook with me just in case the spring goes errant you never know oboes can be finicky and then i have basically miniatures of all my at-home sharpening equipment so i have this super cute little mini diamond stone and this is a dmt uh this is one of their more medium grits and you can order this is actually a keychain and I took the keychain part off. This was um, inspired by Jeanette Engel. Thank you, Jeanette, for showing me this trick. And I love having a diamond stone with me because sometimes you just really want to get more of a burr and you're on the go and you don't have time to sit at your desk. So that's wonderful. I have a little mini Spyderco ceramic. And this matches my Spyderco desk stone. But it's one that I can use 
when I'm in rehearsal and I don't have to carry around my big, thick, heavy stone. Then I also have my little sharpening steels. I believe I, these are, um, you can get these from Jenda, but I got these, I think I just got these on the internet somewhere at a less expensive price, I don't remember. Um, but this is, you know, nice finishing, honing device for your knives. And I always keep a little brush just to get any dust out of my instrument that might accumulate. Um, I have my tuner metronome with me. I have tuners and metronome apps on my phone as well, but I, you know, again, I'm a little old school. I like having the real thing there, um, especially because I tend to forget to charge my battery. Um, and you can tell I'm also old school because I have reading glasses. I always keep an extra pair. I have in here my swab. I just got this new swab to match the blue because I just thought it'd be pretty. And some, let's see what we've got here, some nice Howarth cork grease. This cork grease is amazing. I highly recommend it. They use all beautiful, like natural products to make it. And it just, uh, it's just wonderful stuff. Um, I have my neck strap. I play a lot of English horn. I never travel without my neck strap. You don't want all that weight on your thumb. Um, cutting block. Might be good to have two of these in here in case you lose one easily. A little bit of cigarette paper down at the bottom. And years ago, this is an old battery case and I have a ton of spare plaques in here. So even if I lose one of the ones that's on the very handy dandy magnet over here, I still have tons of plaques to go. And that's it. That is the contents of my bag. Oh, nothing fell out, good. <laughs> and I'll just post a little picture here now of everything in order and looking nice and neat. Thank you for watching. I'm hoping to make some more content along the way, so feel free to subscribe. And you can always reach me at kbboboementor at gmail.com if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.